How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Singh here, and today we're going to talk about the OK2 3D printed synthesizer from Oscitone. If you want to skip the overview and just hear what this synth sounds like, click on the blue timestamp in the description below. The OK2 is a monophonic synthesizer designed using the 555 IC timer chip. This type of oscillator is pretty common in circuit bending, which is something that I used to do quite a bit of. I really enjoy designing and building unique synthesizers, and so finding a kit that uses 3D printing and circuit bending was just too good to pass up. The OK2 uses through-hole components, so it's fairly straightforward to solder. The keyboard is a little tricky, as each individual key has a trim pot and a contact switch. Luckily, it ships with very robust documentation, so assembly is fairly straightforward. The volume knob doubles as an on-off switch, and you can control the octave of the note you're playing using the octave selector. The OK2 is very cleverly designed, and you'll notice a lot of two-color components that are designed to be made by switching filaments mid-print to get two separate colors. I bought the DIY Bring Your Own Printer version of the kit, which comes with all the components you need to assemble the synth. Using the included schematics and design instructions, the assembly is a fairly straightforward process, and this whole thing makes a great weekend build. The keyboard is really satisfying to put together, as all the contact switches are triggered individually by the keys. What's really unique about the synthesizer is how many components have been replaced with 3D printed versions. Things like the hinge on the back of the unit and the clasp in the front are entirely 3D printed, which minimizes the need for external components. Now that we've seen what's inside the OK2, let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. The OK2 is a great project if you're interested in 3D printing or synthesizers and want to make a unique instrument of your own. The OK2 is an open source project, so I've included links below to the full bill of materials as well as the 3D printing files needed to make the synth. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.